Get back here on the program. You know, having a conversation with Joel Edgerton, just this idea of he's the guy that, uh, that had to kill um, Osama bin Laden, and then you know, oh, how do you talk about Osama bin Laden? Can you do jokes about 9 11? A lot of people go, no, you can't because it's too soon, but it's been long enough. Is it too soon? What can you do? What can you not do? And one of the things you wrestle with in this business is what, what is too far? I'm a firm believer that very little is too far. You should just do it and let the audience sort it out. Hugo Boss, the whole joke that Russell Brand did, talking about how Hugo Boss were making Nazi uniforms at this party, and everybody freaked out, even though it was true. And Hugo Boss did make Nazi uniforms. Beautiful. Beautiful uniforms, right? <laughs> Although, the kind of baggage, it's so not worth it. It's so not worth it. <laughs> but was it too far? I don't know. We're going to explore it with people know all too well. It's the thing we call the pedal. <laughs> all right. Back in the day, there was a way you could steal uh, American television signals on your Canadian TV. I'm saying I knew a guy who did it. And <laughs> I used to watch Colin Quinn's show. You had a tough crowd, and you tackled stuff that most people wouldn't do ever. Is there such a thing as too soon for you? Um, well, not so much too soon, but yeah, I mean, it depends on your, you know, there's a lot of people are coming from a, like you said, the audience decides, you know, for better or for worse, but I mean, so it's not really necessarily too soon. Were you doing 9 11 jokes after it happened? Yeah, I mean, we had nine, it depends, but like I said, the way I was, I did about 20, we, we grew up, where our comedy club is right in the shadow of the, the World Trade Center, they were, suddenly it was gone, yeah. so we're not gonna not address it, but it's the way you talk about it, you know, we talk about, it, everybody had material on, on the behavioral reactions to it. Years ago, being at a Just for Laughs show in Montreal, and uh, not that it was too soon, but it was too far, but I watched this trio go on and talk about caving in a grandmother's chest, having sex with them. And that was this guy, yeah. Sean Cullen. Never too soon Never. for a grandmother's <laughs> chest to be caved in. But, it, but was it too far? Never too far. Well, yeah. I don't know. I think it's all in the way you present your material. And uh, I don't think there's anything that you can't be funny about, mm -hmm. but you have to know your audience and, and craft the joke so that it lands as a joke and not just something that's gratuitously uh, offensive. Do you know when, you're, when you've, that horse has left the barn and you're going down the road that the audience is not coming along with you? Yeah, they'll let you know very quickly. I mean, like you said, it has to not be about the victims. It has to be really funny, because mm -hmm. a, right. a lukewarm joke about something huge is not good. And then basically my rule is if people are still running with defibrillators and yelling clear, <laughs> give it a little <laughs> bit more time. Just a whisper. When you did uh, Saturday Night Live, how much flack did you get? When I did Saturday Night Live, they tried to, uh, they tried, well, a good example was, it was right after the Seinfeld Puerto Rican episode came on, so I had these jokes about Puerto Rican something, because I, where I grew up in Brooklyn, black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese, yeah. that was it, you couldn't be, there was no variation on any of that, by the way. <laughs> and uh, there was no, like, I'm Guatemalan, you're like, you're Puerto Rican. Yeah. And um, <laughs> everybody just fell in those four categories. But where I grew up, everybody would make ethnic jokes about each other, because we all grew up together. Mm -hmm. So then I was on SNL when they were like, don't, I said, don't tell me what to do. And, um, you know, I always had the charming personality of a comedian. And um, so I would just do jokes anyway, but they would, people were very, in the States, it's still like that. Ethnic humor, people are very, you just see everybody's like, whoa, 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 where's this coming from? Right. I have tons of material like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to find yes. out if he's ever been read the Riot Act. That's next. <laughs> Not soon enough, Cullen. <laughs> Not soon enough. Uh, have you ever been read the Riot Act? Uh, I was in a sketch troupe and we, we had a comedy song called the Nuremberg Review. Really catchy, like a show tune. So Nuremberg, Sig like... Heil, Sig Hey, Sig Hee 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 Hee. Hello everybody, it's the Nuremberg Review, right? Sig what? Sig whoa. Anyways, <laughs> at the end of the show, a woman came to us in tears. Right in tears and just said, when will it ever end? When will the Holocaust end? And we just sort of said, well, it did end, but not to be cruel. It doesn't help that she looks like a Teutonic, uh, Germanic, uh, you know, one of those. Yeah, you got, a, you got the blonde. I am the master of 
to raise. Um, no, I guess that doesn't help. There were multi ethnic <laughs> people in the troop, but it just was hard to explain to her that we weren't trying to hurt right. her. We weren't trying to yeah. dig but, up ghosts. But Mel Brooks did it, man. I yeah. want a little piece, a little piece of Poland, a little piece he, of friend. I don't know if you know this, but he is a Jew. So that changes yes. the rules. It helps. Is that a fair thing, though? Is it fair that you get to, like, that because you're of the race, you get to do the joke? But if anybody does the joke, shouldn't anybody get to do the joke? Sure. That's what I think. Yeah. But a lot of I people do. now feel the other way. Um, uh, oh. God love you. May, may you never think it's too soon. Never. And never. <laughs> it's never too soon. Yes! All right, have a good everybody. Sean's got a hilarious podcast Hi! called Sean Pod, which is available on iTunes. Ted Robinson just wrapped another season of Canada's Handyman Challenge. Yay. January on HTV and the mighty Colin Quinn. Rockin' JFL 42 in Toronto. You can follow his awesome Twitter feed at I am Colin Quinn with two N. Good things, Canada. <laughs>